Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Dirty, and I'm back. Um, this is gonna be a, you know, a little rant. You know, this is gonna be DLC for next generation consoles. And so far, I I, I don't understand it with some of this DLC that you know they try to force us to buy. And the only reason I think why they do it because you you just have some people that go along with it. Like, all right, I need this or I want that. Um, I remember, you know, when Street Fighter 4 came out, you know, you didn't have a lot of colors and costumes to choose from. But then they want to tell you, oh, well, you know, if you want extra costumes, you know, you got to pay like three ninety nine, you know, five dollars, you know, for costumes, which that's that is like so stupid. Like, why would I spend five dollars for a costume for a character? You know what I'm saying? I don't care how many costumes it is. It could be 50 costumes. Like, why do I have to pay for that when it should be in the game for to be unlockable? Now, I'm an old school gamer. I don't know about some of you cats, you know what I'm saying? Some of my subscribers, you know, I'm pretty sure that's probably younger than me, but I grew up when everything was in the game itself and you had to work to unlock different things. If you wanted, you know, um, a harder level, you beat one level, you unlock a harder level. You know, you wanted costumes, you unlock those costumes. You know what I'm saying? It was all in the game. It was locked. You just had to work for it. And I don't mind doing that because it makes you want to keep playing the game, you know, longer than you would. Now, this DLC, I don't believe in all DLC. Some DLC is good as if it's, you know, containing to the story, you know, pushing the story, you know, a little further, giving me, you know, three to five hours of more gameplay and story then yeah i don't mind buying that because it's containing to the story but when you want me to buy skins guns costumes different colors of skin and all it no nah, i'm not doing all that you know what i'm saying when you have that day one they look into milk they looking to milk you that's what they doing and i could say that and I haven't played this game, but the game looked pretty good. And it's on the PS4. No, I'm sorry. It's on the Xbox One. And that's Rise, Son of Rome. Now, the game looks good. Don't get me wrong. But they're forcing you to pay for different things in the game. Like, why do I have to automatically pay this downloadable content for extra weapons and finish moves and all this crap. Shouldn't this be in the game already for me to unlock so I can have? Why do I have to give these developers more money? Because half of the time, these developers, when they say, oh, well, we spent $20 million on this game. Half of the time, you ain't even spent $20 million because Microsoft or Sony has already handed out a couple of million to you so they can have this on a platform or if they want it for you know exclusive time exclusive or if they want all dlc first so you know they shove out money to these developers and that's what i don't understand you know and a lot of people get on nintendo is you know oh they got a weak system nintendo's going to surprise everybody and it's already one developer. Well, a couple of developers out there, but one in particular. Um, they make the um, what is that game called? Um, Neon Assault. I think that's the name of. Is it? Is it that? Forgot the name of the game, but I downloaded it. And it's a pretty good game. Now I think that's the name of it. And they said that they haven't even pushed the hardware of the Wii U. They said they only use one core of the three cores that, you know, the Wii U has. And they didn't even really push that one core. So, like I tell everybody, it's a lot of things that, you know, 
not that we you can do, but you know, you have people that like to listen to other people, follow other people, don't read up on things and stuff like that. But the thing is with this downloadable content, why is they study shoving this in our face? You know, all three systems now have 25 gigs of and of, of storage on disk up to 50. Why are we still paying nickel and diamond us for these stupid weapons and skin colors and costumes? Like, why are they still doing that for the new generation? I, I, I don't understand. But then you do. I understand why they're doing it, because there are a lot of people out here that will go and buy it. When it should be in the game. But when you are a new gamer. And yes I said new gamer. If you haven't game long as me. You're a new gamer. You know if you just started out on the PS2. You know what I'm saying PS3. You're a new gamer. You know what I'm saying. And you never experienced gaming going back to the NES. You know what I'm saying. And enjoying the games for what they were. And the gameplay, now it's all about, you know, just graphics, graphics, graphics. What's the power in this? I got to see the specs for this. Uh, I don't like the specs for this, you know. But back to the D, uh, the DLC, you know. Why why do they have this? You know what I'm saying? Why everything have to be downloadable content? When the game come out, why do you have characters for me to buy day one when they should be already in the game, you know what I'm saying, unlocked, or for me to play through the game and do certain things, combos or whatever, to unlock these characters. But now you have, you know, developers just, you know, they just nickel and dime you. You know, they, they nickel and dime you, and they know people are going to buy it. And that's why they keep doing all this DLC. Now, if it's DLC, you know, like I said, if it's Containing to the story, giving me more story, even even giving me a backstory or uh, a side mission to do. And I'm getting, you know, three to five hours of extended gameplay. Then I don't mind that. I don't mind paying for that extra, you know, because I'm I'm playing it and I'm I'm enjoying the game. But now when you start telling me, oh, um, if you want that, that. Them two secret weapons that's in the game, you gotta pay for it. No, that should be already in the game. As a matter of fact, it's already in the game. I'm just paying for you to give me a code to unlock it. So you so they can unlock it on the disc. Just like Capcom. How do you have these characters on the disc? But when the game come out, you already talking about downloadable content of, uh, of certain characters, of full new characters, but they already on the disc. That don't make sense. And nobody talks about this. Nobody gets upset or anything about this. But I tell you one thing. If Nintendo did this, oh my God, it'd be an uproar with the community. Not just the, not just the people on YouTube, but you know, the 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 reviewers, the analysts, everybody will hawk on Nintendo about this. Why are you selling a sixty dollar game and you locking features that's on the game and we have to pay for this? I'm telling you now, if Nintendo did this, oh my God, it'd be an uproar. It would be a total uproar. Like, what the hell is Nintendo doing? What is they thinking? But you know, you have certain developers and you have you know people that only like one one side of the console so they're going to stick with that and they're going to they're going to be like yeah I, I want it i'm gonna buy it you know i want all the i want all the costumes for this character no nah, i'm not doing it look at mortal kombat 9 see how they threw downloadable content at us what what they had like four five new characters freddy krueger and all that and uh, Kratos and all that. Then they turned around months later and said, hey, you know what? We're working on a, a new uh, complete edition of Mortal Kombat with all the DLC in it. 
Well, look, I just paid you all this money for downloadable content. Now, when you think about it, pull all that money together that you brought for those characters for Mortal Kombat. Now, add it to that $65, you know what I'm saying, that you brought the game day one without the extra characters, four or five characters. Now, you brought all those characters. Now, add that money on to that $65. And then they turn around and tell you, oh, we're bringing out a new complete edition with all downloadable content for $29.99 or $39.99. Really? Really? Like I said, I don't know what, what, what developers are doing. You know what I'm saying? But they got to stop this, man. They, they really do. They got to stop nickel and diamond us with these, you know, you want three extra cars? Give me eight dollars. No, if you ain't put it in the game, I don't even want the cars because I'm not going to be playing this game that long. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's just my rant. And I'm seeing it on the Xbox one and I'm seeing it on the PlayStation four. And it's it's getting ridiculous. If you if, if you are not containing to the story. Then don't put out no no DLC. I mean, we, us gamers, man, we have to stand up because if we don't, developers would just run all over, all over us and do what they want. And then at the end of the day, you still go out and buy it. I'm not buying no downloadable content. I'm not buying no skins. I'm not buying no guns. I'm not buying no costumes. And I'm not, I'm definitely not buying no characters because every character should be in the game already. If you want to have them locked, some of them locked, that's cool. I could play through the game and unlock them for myself. But I am not giving you extra money, you know what I'm saying, to have extra characters. This, that's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But, yeah, y'all going to see a whole new, and I'm, I'm, and I'm saying it right now, with these new gen, next generation systems coming out, except for... When Nintendo gets some downloadable content, but they don't get as much as uh, Microsoft and Sony. But between those two, you see, you seem to see a whole new change of DLC. Like they seem to start throwing everything at you with this DLC. Trust me, what I say. It's going to be a lot of a lot of games that's going to come out already day one. You're going to be like, "What is downloadable content already?" And it's going to be the little bitty things that you're going to be like why the hell will I pay for that when it should be in the game I'm telling you just watch they already doing it with 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 rise son of Rome and they doing it with another game on the uh, PS4 I forgot what game it was but yeah just watch wait and see as these games start rolling out because all the developers know is that oh man this game is so pretty that's the only thing they're going to think about is how great the graphics are. And watch how we just reel them in with that extra content. Watch how we reel them in. You know what I'm saying? Give them a new suit. You know what I'm saying? Watch how we reel them in. Watch. I guarantee you, watch. Watch this generation. Watch how re ridiculous DLC is going to get even more than last gen. I'm dirty and I'm out of here. And I refuse to buy stupid DLC. Peace.